हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गॉस लॉ दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू लाइन चार्ज लेट्स एन हियर लेट चार्ज क्यू इज uniformly distributed over a thin long straight wire the thin long straight wire having length small l its length small l and charge Q is distributed. Charge Q is distributed lengthwise. That is the long, thin, straight wire. Remember, in case of spherical cell, we define a term that is surface charge density. Means charge. पर सरफेस एरिया सिग्मा हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज विद इन द यूनिट सरफेस एरिया व्हेन दैट चार्ज इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट दैट ऑफ सरफेस अगेन इन केस ऑफ सॉलिड स्पीयर चार्ज इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड वॉल्यूमेट्रिकली देयरफॉर हियर वी टेक वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी मीन्स वॉल्यूम चार्ज पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम हाउ मच चार्ज इज देयर थ्रू आउट दैट ऑफ यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सॉलिड स्पीयर दैट इज डिनोटेड बाय द सिंबल रो बट हियर चार्ज इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लेंथ वाइज देयर फोर वी डिफाइन ए टर्म दैट इज लिनियर चार्ज डेन्सीटी हियर वी डिफाइन ए टर्म That is linear charge density. That is lambda. That is charge per unit length. Charge per unit length. Lambda is equal to charge Q per unit length L. therefore charge can be written in terms of linear charge density lambda l here we have to calculate the electric field intensity at a point let p be the point which is at a distance smaller from the line charges in this case the electric lines of force will be perpendicular to the line charges and directed radially outwards here the line charges so electric lines of force radially outward to that of line charges let us calculate the electric field intensity at point p due to that line charges let we have to draw a closed cylindrical surface as a gaussian surface of length its length that is small l so here we take the cylindrical surface as the gaussian surface here
that Gaussian surface the cylindrical Gaussian surface that is the Gaussian surface let you take that surface be S 1 that surface be S 2 this Gaussian surface of length small l that is length small l and radius the radius this is the radius smaller around that of line charge let the electrical intensity at point P due to that line charge is E let E we define E be the electric field intensity electric field intensity at point P due to line charge and linear charge distribution is E. This is the surface S1, this is the surface S2 and this surface taken as surface S3 at point P we take the small area element that is Ds. Since the electric lines of force are radially outwards here E vector is parallel with this is the direction of ds vector for at, at that surface that is ds1 vector here d s2 vector that area element look here at that surface electric field lines are perpendicular to that of ds1 vector in these two ends but here at surface S3 the electric field lines are radially outwards therefore E is parallel to ds vector. Now we have to apply the Gauss law to calculate the total electric flux passing through that Gaussian surface that is the Gaussian surface here we have to apply the Gauss law. Now, according to Gauss law, total electric flux passing through Gaussian surface that is phi which is equal to the close curve integration over S E dot D S is equal to charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught epsilon naught that is permittivity of free space look here the entire closed curve is divided into three such curves that is S1, S3 and S2. Now that integration can be done here ds is the small area element around the point P. So instead of that close curve integration we can write that is the surface integration at S1 of E dot ds plus the surface integration at S2 E dot ds plus surface integration at S3 E dot ds is equal to Q divided by epsilon naught. Look at this at surface S1 and S2 the electric field lines is perpendicular to that of 
surface area direction of surface area in these two regions e dot d s will be 0. So, here we write at s 1 and s 2 e vector is perpendicular to d s vector. Therefore, e dot d s is equal to e d s cos 90 degree cos 90 is equal to 0 that result will be 0 at s 1 and s 2, but at s 3 e vector is parallel with d s vector therefore, e dot d s means e d s cos 0 degree that is e d s here ok. Let we have to substitute these values in that integration. So, here we have at area element e dot d s will be 0 here that term 0 s 2 that 0 only s 3 integral exist s 3 e dot d s is equal to q by epsilon naught or at s 3 that is e d s is equal to q by epsilon naught or e to that of outside integration over s 3 d s is equal to q by epsilon naught. Look here the total curve section the area of that of curve surface means that section and that section the area of that curve surface will be how much therefore, the close that is the surface integration over s 3 d s which is known as the area of curved surface curved surface that equal to 2 pi r into l that is the circumference of that section into the length that is 2 pi r into l with the area of that curved surface. So, here e into 2 pi r l q by epsilon naught or e is equal to 1 by 2 pi r l into q by epsilon naught here we have to put the value of q as you take in terms of linear charge density. So, putting the value of q we have e is equal to 1 by 2 pi r l into in place of q we substitute that is lambda l divided by epsilon epsilon naught under calculation we have 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught lambda by r here l l cancel out. Now, we can write it in terms of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that is region we multiply 2 and divide 2 in that of numerator and denominator part. So, we have 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 lambda divided by r that is the required expression for the electric field intensity at the point P due to that line charge. From that particular expression what we have here 4 pi epsilon naught are constant lambda also constant here E is inversely proportional to 1 by R that is electric field intensity 
electric field intensity due to line charge due to line charge is inversely proportional to r inversely proportional to r distance so with the help of this video lecture we understand how with the help of gauss law we can calculate electric field due to line charge we introduce the term linear charge density and we calculate electric field intensity at point p by applying gauss law here we apply gauss law and derive the expression for electric field intensity and observe that electric field intensity is inverse proportional with that of distance so with this useful and infinity notes let me wind up this session thank you